what uh, the anti-establishment group has to do is is take it beyond just Donald Trump. Right. Right. As long as just this it's this movement uh, that's circled around Donald Trump and views Donald Trump as the savior. I mean, but what a what an unreliable person to base your movement upon. Right. Uh, but Trump, I think, by accident, stumbled into this movement that he thought he could use to make himself very, very popular. Um, and I think sort of ended up trying to, to harness these sentiments, these, these grievances, uh, where people were realizing they were being screwed, essentially, by the federal government, uh, that the ruling class didn't care about them, and in fact hated them. Uh, and you started to see that right under Obama with his disparaging remarks about, you know, these, these hillbillies with their guns and their Christianity and all of that stuff. And then Hillary Clinton clearly hated these people as well. She hated half the country. Right. And so half the country didn't didn't like being hated. Uh, and Trump, for whatever reason, seemed to pick up on that, even though it had nothing to do with his prior life or his own personal ideology or anything like that. Right. And so I think then he just kind of went along with it. And I guess that's how he ended up being hated in Washington, because he seemed to be sort of speaking for the half the country that didn't like being denounced regularly by Washington insiders. Uh, but as if it's just Trump, then the FBI will succeed in getting rid of whatever power those people might have hoped to have. So, yeah, you're going to need state level people. You're going to need uh, people in uh, corporate America, people in educational institutions who are willing to say these things and really represent those those people. And that's going to take a lot of hard work because these organizations have really reached the point where they're just getting rid of anybody who doesn't toe the Washington line. Um, but maybe the, the only first place you start to begin that rebuilding process is in the state legislatures and then in the governor's mansions. Maybe that's really the only place that these sorts of uh, Trump voters have any power left. But yeah, it, it's it's maybe time to move beyond Trump, the guy. I mean, uh, he's 78. He'll be 78 years old if he runs for president in 2024. We really need another 80 year old and one like Trump who who appoints John Bolton to an important position, who, who appoints Pompeo, who appoints people like Christopher Ray. I mean, clearly not a competent administrator, not someone who could actually implement any sort of important movement. So, yeah, it's it's got to be a non-Trump thing. It's, it's it's time to to get over Trump, but but realize what was good, mostly on accident, about Trump, and and try to do something uh, with that. But it's been good that the FBI has shown its true colors by its willingness to basically investigate uh, a guy just really clearly because he was a political enemy of the current oligarchy in charge. And uh, so it's uh, it's got to be a more sophisticated movement than we love Donald Trump. Well, see, and that's the beauty of it is that, again, like if, if when D.C. gets what it wants, if it removes Trump from being able to run legally in 2024, then they've cleared the path through, right? Like they, they, right. they, they, they their own actions, again, like they're so obsessed with, with this sort of like revenge politics that they, they don't recognize what the next step is. I can, if you take Trump off the board, then guess what you're going to get? You're going to get someone, right. you're going to get Trump as martyr figure, and you're going to get someone more competent than Trump coming in. And, you know, it's, that's, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. But, you know, I, I, as we conclude, uh, I, I did do see now you have some, some Republican congressmen, again, outright calling for the elimination of the FBI. Dr. Paul Go Gozar, who's a very interesting member. Dr. Gozar, if you are in need of a witness, at, a, at, at an upcoming congressional hearing, talk about the elimination of the FBI. May I recommend Mr. Uh, Ryan McMakin? Mm -hmm.